In the previous video, we added switchboards to the electrical distribution. Now let's see how we can add circuits to those switchboards. Click PL5 and then click Circuits. At the moment, PL5 has 16 kilowatts of power, a value we derived from an estimation of the absorbed power. Based on this value, the absorbed power for every switchboard has been calculated up to the top of the distribution tree. While in the circuits view, click New Circuit, and a new row is added to the circuits table just below the main bus bar, which is added to every new switchboard by default. The new circuit has some default values which are displayed directly on the row and down here as well. Now, let's take a look at the switchboard's power. Its power changed to 1.2 kilowatts, and the reason for this is that the estimated value is no longer used and the absorbed power is now calculated based on the installed power and the simultaneity factors, which we must carefully set for each one of these four categories. Getting back to circuits, we can easily add more circuits. Change their names and load types, for example, change the second row load type to sockets, and also its name. Set the third circuit for motors, and leave the fourth circuit to lighting. Now, let's see how the incomer has changed. Here we see that we now have two circuits for lighting, one for sockets and one for motors, and on the right is the absorbed power, which has resulted by multiplying by the simultaneity factor. Here is the sum of the absorbed power. The spare factor is added to this sum, and so the total power is calculated and it is displayed here. The circuits section includes a circuit wizard which allows you to quickly add many circuits. To start the wizard, click Circuit Wizard. A dialog will then appear so we can specify the number and types of circuits that will be added. Here we have a number of predefined circuit types. In the quantity column we can set the number of circuits that we want to add for each type. Let's say we need four circuits for lighting. In the kilowatt column, type the power value, for example 0.1 for lighting, if we use energy saving lamps. Click Next. Here we should select the cables which will be used. For this video we will use H05VV for the supply cable and H07V for the circuit cables. Click Next and then click Finish. Here we can see the circuits added by the wizard. Let's have a look at the switchboard's power. Here are the sums for power. Note that the simultaneity factor has a significant effect on the absorbed power, so we must be very careful when setting this factor, especially for load types like sockets and apparatuses. Now, let's try some tweaking. Changing the power of the oven circuit we can see that the switchboard's power changes. The power of all its parents, up to the top of the distribution tree, also changes. If we keep increasing the power of the circuit, then at some point the circuit's cable will change. And the cable changed to a 10 square millimeter one. It is strongly recommended to have a three-phase circuit for the ovens, provided of course that we have a three-phase switchboard. This way, the wiring is greatly simplified and the load sharing among the three phases is improved. This is very important for the selection of the fuse and for the load equilibrium in general. Let's try changing the cable type. We would like to change the oven's cable and instead of an H07V-U use an H05VV. To do this, click Select Cable and the Cable Selection dialog appears. Change the cable type to H05VV, select 5 cores, and under the installation type select In Conduit in the Wall, which is a typical cable installation for residential electrical installations. So, here we see that the cable changed to 5G2.5. Here, we can optionally change the minimum cable cross-section, 
For example, we can set this to 3 and notice the cable changes again. Only this time, it becomes a 5G4. The cable's length relates to the voltage drop. Here we can see the cable's voltage drop by a relatively small amount. It is also displayed in the table on the right.